We're good. What is up, everyone? Made it back up here for a day. Uh, tomorrow I'm going home, but I just thought I'd talk about my weekend. Um, ride a little bit for you guys. So, let's get into it. My dad washed my bike, actually, I think, when he was here, because I'm pretty sure I didn't wash him when I was leaving. It was just covered in mud. So that's nice. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I think it rained today, actually, maybe earlier. No, it was raining where I was yesterday. But, yeah, so let's get into this. So over the weekend, um, I went to a music festival, uh, Somerset. So they had a three-day musical festival with a whole bunch of people there bigger artist. Oh my gosh, it is just destroyed back here. Um, but, <laughs> that is so deep. Holy crap. And I don't know if you guys know who little dick he is. He just came out with his first album, really. He's a, he's like, he's a rapper, but it's not like mainstream rap, really. Uh, it's more like, he has a lot of comedy in it, but he's still, he's really good at telling stories in his lyrics, and it's pretty neat how he puts it together. Um, but yeah, uh, the last day was this, whew, concert. Man, is it slippery out here. On Sunday was a concert. We got front row on it. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, but after that, it started to rain and they closed the venue down and told everyone to go back to the campgrounds. And everyone got pissed after that. There was like a, a riot, which started in our campground and then went around the whole, went through all the other uh, campgrounds. And by the time it got to the gates where they were letting people in, uh, it was probably about five, ten thousand people. And we just, and then at the security gate, there was only like four people. And so we got back in. Everyone got back through the gates. We just kept, people were just hopping fences and stuff. But they actually reached that pretty much made them start back up the venue for the, the music. Because I don't know, it was, but they closed it down. They claimed it was like severe weather, but it was only. It wasn't even windy or raining. They, it was, I mean, it rained a little bit, but. They were acting like a tornado was coming. But once we got back into the venue, we went to the main stage. And then, uh, you guys know the group, uh, I think it's like Die Ant Word or something like that. I don't know where they're from. They're a really weird music group. Um, but we were waiting for them to start. Because we were actually watching them, watching them when they shut down the venue. So they stopped mid-concert. But then, eventually, me and my girlfriend, while we were waiting for it to start, both looked at each other at the same time. We're like, let's go see G-Eazy, because he was about to start, and we wanted to see him. So, but on the way to G-Eazy, we left. About halfway there, I was... I was just looking at some of the people walking around. I recognize, I think, uh, Little Dickie's bodyguard, or so called, or hype man. Um, and then I was like, is that really him? So I just saw him from the back, and I was, there's a lot of people here, so I was like, maybe it just looks like him. And then I looked at the guy next to him, and I recognized his hat from on stage. Because he had like a smiley face on the back of his hat. Or on the 
whatever, yeah, the back. But, uh, man, it's just so wet out here. Swamp, look at that. There was a smiley face on, on the back of this dude's hat, and I was like, yeah, that it has to be them. And then, so, obviously little Dickie was with him, so we actually met him. My girlfriend got a picture with him. He's a really cool dude. Probably doesn't remember it, for certain reasons I won't say, but, <laughs> um, he's pretty cool. He was, he talked to my girlfriend a lot, actually. But, uh, it was pretty funny. Yeah, but overall, he's a, he's a super cool dude, little Dicky. But, uh, it was really cool to meet him, especially so early in his career. I mean, he just released his first album, so that was pretty cool seeing, seeing him right after he released that. It's gonna be a good story once he's bigger. But I don't think he's going away. He's... He's too good to fail, at least the way I look at it. Makes pretty good music too, or actually really good music. Wheelie! Small wheelie over the puddle! Over the puddle! Their pond is like a weird red color right now. Interesting. But I think I'm gonna cut it off, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to check out some of my other videos. Um, I just had a, a other moto vlog before this. If you guys want to check that out? Um, so yeah, I'm not really. This is my first time really telling a story. Um. So, I'm sure I'll get better at it. I just gotta up my storytelling game, you know what I mean? But anyways, check out my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Add me on Snapchat. It's all Jake's Place 12. Um, I'm pretty sure. I think my Twitter might be something else, but I don't use it that much. But I'll try and get it set up soon if you guys are on Twitter. I'm going home tomorrow, so... And then I'm getting my... Wisdom teeth out Friday, which is gonna suck. But I think in about two two weeks or so, I should be back up here, and hopefully my mouth has recovered by then. Ooh, almost tipped over. I got the concert footage from the festival this weekend, so I'll throw. I'll make a video about that. And I got a vlog that I recorded from last weekend that I didn't put up yet. So I should have about, well, two more videos. Two or three more videos coming out besides this one. But uh, thanks for watching and subscribe. And peace out. Okay, we're getting on with Jason her behind her. Put pressure on her. She got scared and tipped over. Oh, yeah, she's starting to look back.